I'm not too worried. While I don't really know the mechanic I should expect this to involve. Actually, do I? I might. It's interesting, I think I... There's what, three things that lead to the three doors, and I... I might have encountered all of them before I opened any of them or even knew what I was doing. There's this weird thing. You can point at stuff? Oh. Oh, I just learned a thing. Okay. So I was thinking this plant and maybe the animal might be involved because nothing- they haven't come up in any other way yet and there's frankly nothing else. <laughs> like when you go around our environment here, there's just nothing in this world that could be a, a, a puzzle mechanic really. But there's this weird guy. You're a weird little guy, aren't you? Hi. Do you somehow inflate these things? How does that work? You neglect them and they go away, but you go up to them and they stick out. And it says Squee Chirps. I think those are subtitles, actually. So the Squee would be the creature's name and the chirps are the sounds it's making. It has little inflatable earlobe-looking things. Not earlobes, but like, it has little inflating things near where you expect its ears to be. That correlate with what making, it making sound. And these things inflate when it makes noise. And whenever it goes quiet to look at me, they, they go back to not being inflated. Okay, I think I actually already... I think I already figured out the puzzle then. The moment, the moment I pointed that, the whispering rock kind of made noise, like loud ass noise. Suddenly, I'm getting it. So this is the same stuff that's by the squee down there. So if I can get the chirps to play through this plant, then these probably inflate, and then I have a bridge. I think that's all it really involves. Go through my notes here. Do I still have the bird drawing? I do. I needed the drawing of the code to open the bird door that I made earlier. Okay, so that went exactly as I expected. Oh, cool. I just had to stumble into what the hell that thing was for because I hadn't figured it out for a while, but that from there the puzzle was actually intuitive. Neat. You can see why Atrus would do that too, like he was hoping that they would hope- he was hoping that they would learn about like the- like the reason to like take- you know, take note of and live in harmony with the creatures around us and stuff like that. And they probably took the exact opposite lesson that they should have taken and probably just thought about how they can- how this teaches them how to control living beings for their own needs and stuff like that. Because, uh, those guys were terrible humans. Terrible, terrible creatures. I think this is the right combo. It's not the right combo. This is the bird gate, right? There we go. Good news is it doesn't reset each time you're wrong, so I can have, I can tweak it a little bit until I get it correctly. Here's our last, uh, main game world? Because it's clearly like a climactic final world. But these- I think I could have done the- yeah, I could have done these in any order, too. Because none of these mechanics built on each other, specifically. Idana. What a surprise, it's another distinctive island thing in the middle of an ocean.
Now we're on now we're on Yggdrasil. Hello. Oh. Are these the no, I don't think they're quite the same plants as we saw before. But maybe a little comparable. I think one of the things that made Riven feel so distinct from Mist 1 and 2 is that everywhere you visit in Mist 1 and 2 is a tiny island surrounded by infinite ocean. And technically Riven was also a series of, of islands surrounded by, by infinite ocean, but the majority of the time you were on the islands you couldn't see the water at all. And you, only had, you kind of had to go to specific spots or you had to be uh, on the trams. And so you weren't being constantly reminded that you're floating in the middle of an infinite void. And so it felt like you're exploring this big interconnected world because you, well, you were. I wonder if any other game in the series feels like Riven, or if every single one of them is going to be like the original game, essentially. Um... Uh... How did that work? I'm trying to think on the... I'm trying to think on any level how that worked. What? How did I... I was like sliding up? Not very slide friendly. I can picture sliding down it maybe, but it's pretty lumpy even for that. Huh. Yeah, I, I would imagine that no game is quite like Riven. Ooh. Giant pterodactyl bird creature thing. Well, now. Just due to the fact that the second one was called Riven and the entire rest of the series was all, is all continually called Mist, even though you don't seem to go back to Mist ever. Or at least this game never goes to Mist, as far as I can tell, unless that's going to be later. But it's called Mist. Got a binocular flower? I guess it's more mon- I guess it's more telescopic or monocular flower or something. What do you do? Huh. I find it interesting though that there's just an ongoing trend of these influential major franchises that shaped a lot of gaming for decades, like Mario and Zelda and the, and Mist and whatnot, having this very specific trend of having a divergent second game. Castlevania. What you up to? See you later. I just find it interesting how that seems to happen a lot. There's a lot of franchises where the second game is wildly divergent, and sometimes it's seen as a good thing or a bad thing, but oftentimes the franchise will, like, sort of find its way back toward... It'll, like, whiplash back towards the original game a bit when it starts making third and fourth and fifth or who knows how many games. Can I...? Because I don't think anyone was like, Riven's the bad one. No one says that, I don't think. So I'm not using that as the same way that people think of Simon's Quest or something. Or, uh, well, any of those second games. So this is clearly the thing I used to get up and down elsewhere, but it's not activated yet, for one reason or another. There's this thing, um, some sort of membrane thing. This place is going to be a trip to figure out how to interact with, or figure, or even recognizing what's interactive, because I'm not, I don't, I don't think we're going to find machine items here. I think everything might be lumps of plant matter and weird, like, Navi stuff. And when I say Navi, I mean, like, Avatar and not... ...thing from Zelda. Were they called the Navi? Were they called the same thing as the... ...fairy from from Zelda? <laughs> Just stick your arm in it, what can go wrong, right? Oh, God, I actually put my face in it. Okay. This is, well, usually when a plant opens like that and it has sticky 
and uh, encouraging stuff inside that usually means that they uh, want to eat you. You know? So way over there, there's a dome of reddish plant matter. There's a whole undercroft area. There's a few of those open pods that have the red thing in the middle. Is that where I just was? That's where I just was, right? Yeah, there's the there's the one that's not open, and so on. Okay, so the the from here I can see it's a giant bit. It's just this big open pool that has the red thing in the middle. Maybe I need to fill it. Maybe if I fill the pool, then it opens up the elevator staircase thing, since that thing appears to be linked to it to the red by the red corded form like cord, corded foam wire thing huh why would a plant work that way I wonder why a magnifying lens and a built into a plant would be a thing that evolves unless it was just somebody put it together I guess Okay. Ladder, I hope. Are you a ladder? No, I can't climb it. Were you blocking my path? Oh. Johnny's right there. If I want to go back. Where did I end up just now? Uh, yeah. Just slightly over here. Okay, so I can switch you back, but it seems to not serve any purpose. So up may be good. Oh, I wonder if more light reaching this thing affects- Oh, there's a beam coming out now. Ah, oh, that's the thing full of water. Okay, um, I need an adult. Oh no. Oh no. This isn't just one of the... It's not just the Navi, it's one of those Navi slash fictions. What will I do? Well, let's go for a weird, sticky, smooth ride. I can only imagine that my hand and both my feet are just smothered in, like, weird plant lubricant now, judging by how fast I'm moving down this thing. I guess they just wanted to skip on the channel wood spiral staircase that was kind of confusing. And that it, I mean, it wasn't that confusing, but, like, it just felt slightly weird to navigate, <laughs> so that we skip on that. I am way down here. Okay. There's a fish down here? Are you a fish? Do they like it when you do that, or is that a bad thing? Also, your entire life is... in a... Your entire life seems to be contained within a small bowl that is significantly smaller, I think, than people recommend qu aquarium, aquariums be for creatures of that size. So let's get this guy out of here if I can. You're not supposed to keep them in things that small, I'm pretty sure. And by pretty sure, I mean not particularly sure, because I'm not a marine biologist. And it's my brother that makes terrariums. I don't work on terrariums. That's been a fun thing to watch happening in the background, is my, my brother's been creating his own terrarium business, which is those... those grassy, like... He makes these, these grassy, like, self-maintaining terrariums for, like, pets. The glass cages that'll have, like, nature stuff inside that, uh, self-maintains and self-filters and so on. Oh. Did I just... Wow. He, it, it fit in the pipes? Wow, I made that way worse. I'm sorry. I feel bad now. Is those Savidro notes? Yep, they were weirdly... Skewed. I have desecrated the poem he placed in the columns. 
I could no longer stand to see Narayan's artistry in his worlds. I think I can do something with the sap to cover the second one, but I'm not sure what to do about the island. I don't know how to alter the current. Perhaps if I bring in some of the unusual floating stone from Amateria? Something about the molecular composition of the rock in that age causes it to attract and repel other stone quite forcefully. Maybe if I introduce some of it to the soil on the island, it will interfere just enough to damage the last poem. I will have to conduct some experiments. There's a lot of crazy... I'm going to probably have to refer to this journal when I'm figuring out the puzzles on this island, because there's stuff going on here that I don't have context for yet. Oh, the rest of it's not relevant. All I have to go on right now is he did something with the magnets. Ma something magnetic with the Amateria rocks, probably. Let's go double check, just to see that he's, it's not there, in fact, and maybe what, how the plants may have reacted to its lack of presence. Oh, it's gone. Not only is it gone, the water is gone, which might be bad for the plants that seem to be living in this thing, although they might just be part of the main plant, which is probably part of the same root system that goes down to the ocean, which I, I, I guess they must be able to survive in the ocean. Or the ocean doesn't have salt in it? No. Can you have freshwater oceans? God, now I'm trying to think about this stuff. I mean, an ice planet might be able to have freshwater oceans, but I think that the way that... I think the I think the rocks are the source of the sodium in oceans, aren't they? And if that's the case, then anything that's a terrestrial planet, even if the rocks are all underwater, I think would still have to have saltwater oceans, but I'm not entirely certain about that one. Let's get him out of here. I'm not sure how he fit in the piping, but damn, I guess this is just his world. We can't go up this route anymore. All right. Try going over here. Okay, yeah, these are the same plants that we saw, for sure. So they must be from this world. Ah, Jesus. That was so loud and out of nowhere that it just made me jump so hard. Can I go anywhere around here? You are weird. Oh, are you a bridge? Okay, so I must be able to extend that bridge to walk across at some point. And we've established that these things are a food source for some creatures. They may be for the ones around here, too. Which I might, might be information I need at some point. Turn like oh, those little pull thing. Well, that opens one bridge. Now we understand the mechanism for that. I assume you don't take me back where I needed to go, but or where I've been before, though. Do you? No, that the, over there is the the bridge I saw before. Because if it looped back around, then I just wouldn't have anywhere new to go, and that would be a bad news. Oh. Where can I go from here, though? Did I unlock anything by opening that? Oh, what's that? Clicking on it doesn't do anything. What is it supposed to do? I don't think it's... What is it supposed to do? It seems to just be an anchor point. Like, just to, it was just tied off. Like, you can't slide down it.
And I don't think I can reach it when this is like this. Or really do anything when it's like this. But then why did I make this... What do I accomplish by bringing this thing down? Can I go down there? No. There seems to be nowhere I can jump to from here. Huh. Maybe I can f extend another bridge somewhere and they connect or something? Or maybe that was literally just a demonstration of the mechanic and nothing else? Can I go along here? Why not? There's like a whole- it's like a whole bridge, right? And like, there's stuff over there that I want to reach. So why can't I go this way? It seems about as reasonable as most of the paths I've taken. Oh, we're gonna have a fun time trying to figure out where I'm even allowed to walk in this play on this world, aren't we? That almost looks like a hallway of its own, but I can't go there either. Why did I un- Why did I unlock this? Oh. Well, what do you do? Okay. Did it just go back up? Oh. There goes that idea. I thought maybe you'd retract this thing while it's right here, and maybe it would, like, pull on it, and and pull it in. Okay, so then what do you do? Can I get on you? Oh. Okay. So my mouse cursor turns into a swing. Oh, I can swing over here then. There we go. That's why it was so confusing, is because it was a mechanic I've never seen before. Okay, uh... It's a little house thing that seems to be made of, uh... Ah! Various... Animal skins. I do anything with it. That's all tied to that. Okay, so that's how I manipulate it. Oh, it's a cage. Probably. So this is... I can, ca I can catch an animal in this if I can catch... If I can find something to use. Is this, oh. As bait. Gee, I can't imagine. <laughs> Do I walk away and come back? Oh, goodness. That was a sliding point. I take it I can't... Oh. That thing that looked like a path earlier was the slide. So I just took that to get back down. Oh, it's a squee. He's still there? He's not. Oh, that's why there's a pull tab. I gotcha. Okay. And go around real quick. And that's why this was here. Yeah, we caught the crap out of that animal for some reason. I'm not really sure why yet, but we'll figure it out. Oh, He's freaking out, man. I mean, now I just feel bad. Uh, do I even have a goal? I don't think I have a plan for what to do with you. I just caught you.
Um, didn't plan this far. I assume it just gets runs away if you let it out. Uh, he pieces right out. All right. Well, I don't really feel like having an animal freaking out over here uh, the entire time I try to solve puzzles, so I'm just gonna leave it, and I'll try to capture it again when I know why I'm doing it. <laughs> So where else can I go? There's that spot over there. Up there, but that's kind of where I came from, so who cares? Can't get over there. There's a whole area over there I'm not really sure what to do with yet. Yeah, that doesn't really pan out, I just get stuck. Oops. Got a funny lantern up here. Got these guys. Just gonna keep feeding this guy. <laughs> ah, why do I want you? Can I, I feel like he's, he's only useful if I can capture him and take him, him with me, right? But I tried clicking on him and I couldn't seem to grab him. I can probably use him to make certain plants elsewhere liven up. That only helps if I know where to take them and how. Oh? You turn the little hand icon on the fruit. <laughs> and I can send him back up and it perfectly falls back in the same position. That's gotta be the same animation played backwards, right? Okay. I'll try it again. Purpose did that serve. I'll bite. Where am I? There we go. I definitely find myself running down hallways more slowly in this game just because... Well, there is the whole part where it's not instant clicking, but it's doing the slow fade. But also, like, I can't find immediately at a glance where the next direction is sometimes. Where do you go now? Oh, weird. He ran around it. Oh. Okay. Wanton destruction it is then. So n oh, now I'm gonna be able to land on that tongue-looking spot, aren't I? Because now- because this thing was catching on it before. There we go. And I won't be trapped because we saw this bridge over here. Now I've got to return... I can return this way to the earlier beginning part of the level and also my only exit I've found so far that takes me back. But that whole chunk of the map's cut off forever, I think. Not that I need it anymore, I suppose. Although I did just scare that little creature out of its home and then isolate it from its home by destroying the bridge, so hooray. Although to be fair, it did that, so, you know, maybe it wanted to? Maybe it's not particularly attached to that hiding spot? I hope it's a victory bell. Oh, wow. It's just covered in straight up gnarly teeth. Oh, shit. And an, anim and an animal's slowly dying inside of it. Well, that's horrifying. Okay, how are we gonna get you out of there? <laughs> 